Hi, my name is Ed Chan. I'm one of the thoracic surgeons here at Houston Methodist. Um, I've got a particular interest in robotic surgery, uh, surgery of the lung and the esophagus, as well as uh, in education in terms of resident and fellow education. So um, what we're doing here today is one of our boot camp slash uh, introductory workshops that we routinely do for the residents. Behind me here in Mighty, we've got um, the Da Vinci XI robot. So what we do is before the residents rotate on our thoracic surgery service, we like to get them oriented um, to the robot and to some of the operations they'll be performing. Um, we do this here in, uh, in Mighty so that we can have them get some practice, have some simulation and have some um, hands-on experience before they get into the operating room and, and get to do it on live patients. So, uh, for example, today we've done some uh, review of uh, the different components of the robot, um, how to assist the bedside. Uh, we also have a pig explant, which has uh, some of the anatomy that we would be working on in some of the operations. So, for example, uh, if we were to do a hiatal hernia repair, uh, in which we have to do a lot of dissection around the esophagus and the stomach, we're able to practice that here um, before we get to the operating room. So what we have here is our pig explant model that we're practicing on with the robot as a simulation. So we're going through the steps of a hiatal hernia repair. So what we've done already is dissected out a lot of the relevant anatomy, the liver is over on here, the diaphragm is here, and the cruce is all here. And you can see the esophagus well freed up there with the stomach over here. So we've already done a lot of the dissection. We've gone through the steps of freeing up the esophagus, reducing the hernia, circumferentially mobilizing the esophagus, and making sure we have plenty of intra-abdominal esophageal length. So the next step that we'll go through is closing the cruce, which is sort of the second part of this operation. And we'll do some sewing here with some sutures to try to close this part of the diaphragm together. So what we're gonna do next is to have Atiba, our resident, practice closing up this hiatus with some stitches. So Atiba, what I do is first is, is get your needle and load it the same way you'd load it if you were open, you know, grab it sort of midline, load it behind midline. And then once you focus your camera over here on the hiatus, you're gonna close this with a figure of eight. So I would take a good and healthy bite of the left cruise, then the right cruise, pull it through so you have a short tail, and then take another bite here, left cruise, right cruise. Nice bite, great. Follow the curve of the needle, and then pull it through with your left hand, great. I want you to rotate it through following the curve of the needle also to not traumatize the tissue at all. Great, you can just turn it, you don't have to hold it in place. You can just rotate through. And then load it again and take another bite on the right cruise. Same way, same depth. That was a nice bite. Just rotate through, keep rotating, yep. Now, don't, now grab it with your left hand and let go of the needle with your right hand. There you go. And rotate it out with your left hand. Follow the curve. Okay. Those are your first two bites in your figure of eight. Pull it through so you have a short tail. Don't grab your needle though because you're going to risk injuring something if you hold the needle like that. If you grab the suture, you'll be fine. So pull it through so you have a really short tail to tie with. Keep on pulling, pulling, pulling. Uh -huh. Hand over hand. Keep on going, there's more to go. That's your tail there, right? Oh, careful. There, that, you can leave it like that. That's a, that's a good length for it. Now load your needle again. Take a ne the next set of bites to finish your figure of eight. Okay, rotate your needle through. Good. Grab your needle and rotate it out. Uh -huh. Follow the curve of the needle. 
You shouldn't need to hold the tissue at all. There you go. Yeah, let's keep rotating. Uh huh. Okay, rotate your needle. Turn your wrist until you rotate the needle. Keep rotating. Uh huh. And you gotta move your camera so you can see what's going on. You can't see the tip coming out there. Keep rotating. Make sure your camera is focused on where you're where you're working there. It's better. Okay, you see the tip of the needle there? Get that out. Good. Now grab that with your left hand and rotate it out after you let go of it with your right hand. Rotate it following the curve of the needle. All right. We have an explant which has the uh, the liver, esophagus, stomach, and spleen of a pig. And our residents are using those models, those explanted models, to practice doing the steps of a hiatal hernia repair um, using the robot and using the same sort of console, the same controls, the same instruments that they would um, live in the operating room, but being able to do it in a safe and controlled environment with supervision um, before they ever step foot in the OR.